Hello everyone, welcome to Unshackling Sudokus and Puzzles. Today's video is on an XV Sudoku titled X Marks the Spot and this was created by Chalkchip and posted on his blog uh, Chalkchip Cookies and uh, this is a live sol. So uh, apparently this is a tough Sudoku as rated by the author. Uh, I, I hope this is an enjoyable video. Uh, the link to solve this is in the description. Please do give it a try. Come back and watch the video. Uh, you can see that the givens form an interesting shape, which is why it's called X marks the spot. Uh, really nice uh, layout of givens. So uh, the rules are simple. Classic rules apply each row, each column, and three by three box has digits one to nine, no repetitions. And then if the sum of digits in orthogonally adjacent cells is 10, 10, then they are separated by X. If the sum of digits in orthogonally adjacent cells is 5, then they are separated by uh, Roman numeral 5. All possible X and V are marked, right? So you can see that there are no X and Vs in this grid. So the rules state that all possible X and V are marked, which means that um, since there are no X and V's in the grid, it means that there are no pair of adjacent cells which add either to an X or to a V. So originally, uh, you know, a few years back, this was uh, used as a surprise element. Uh, you know, solvers would see the grid without any symbols and think that this is a uh, wrong grid or there is some printing error uh, by which the symbols got missed. No, it's not that way. Uh, the rules clearly state all possible X and V are marked, if, which means that if there are no symbols, there are no pair of digits, adjacent digits, I mean, uh, which add up to 5 or 10. So this is one such Sudoku. You can see that there are no symbols in the grid. So which means you cannot, for example, have a 2 here because these two add up to 10, right? So it's all about using the vice versa part of the XV Sudoku. So having said that, let's start now. Uh, before I jump into the Sudoku, uh, the pair of digits that uh, one needs to uh, keep in mind is 1, 9, which add up to 10, 2, 8, 3, 7, and 4, 6. All these add up to 10 and the pair of digits which add up to 5 or 1, 4, and 2, 3. So with that, we'll start the Sudoku. So I'm seeing that 4 cannot be here, 4 cannot be in any of these cells because then 1 plus 4 would be 5. So there is no symbol here. So 4 is in one of these two cells, 4 cannot go here, so 4 goes here. That puts 4 in here by Sudoku. And let's uh, look at the middle box. Ah, before I just jump, let's continue with the 4s. 4 has to be in these three cells, 4 cannot be uh, adjacent to a 6 because that gives a 10, so 4 goes here. And that puts 4 in one of these two cells. Uh, okay. Now I think I can go to this area. 9 cannot be in these cells because 1 plus 9 is 10. So 9 goes here. Uh, so remaining digits are 2, 3 and 8. 3 cannot be adjacent to a 7. So 3 goes here. So I have 2 and 8 remaining. Okay. Uh, okay, nothing more can be done. Uh, 1 in column 6 has to be in one of these two cells. It cannot be adjacent to a 4. Okay, now 9 in this box, it cannot be in any of these cells because they are adjacent to 1 and this cell is also not possible because of 1 here. So 9 has exactly two possibilities, either this cell or this cell. That's excellent. So how do I continue here? So I think that this box is restricted. I don't know why, but it feels to me that way. Maybe let's look at this cell. 1, 4, 5, 8 and 6 and 7 are eliminated. So this has to be 2, 3 because 9 is already here. Sorry, 9 is already here. So this is 2 or a 3. Okay, I don't think there's anything more there. Now, look at this box. Where does the 2 go? 2 is not here. 2 is not in any of these cells, right? Because it cannot be adjacent to an 8. So 2 goes in one of these two cells. 
which gives two in one of these two cells. That's interesting. So where do I look now? That's the big question. Okay, six in row four has exactly two possibilities. It cannot be here because that would put it next to a four. So six goes here. Excellent. Uh, okay, four in column seven is restricted. Either this cell or this cell. Okay. Now a four cannot be adjacent to a six or a one. Okay. Not much there. Ah, awesome. Six cannot be in this, uh, these three cells. Six cannot be in any of these cells. So that gives six in one of these two cells. And it cannot be here because four and six go together. So six has only one possibility, which means six is in these two cells in column five. And it cannot be next to a four. So six goes here. Excellent. So you can see that just by using the vice versa part of the Sudoku, how this uh, grid is just beautifully proceeding ahead. Right. Uh, okay, so one, four, six, nine, five, eight. So I can't resist myself to uh, from writing digits in here. This can only be two, three, or a seven. So if I somehow eliminate a seven from here, I would have a pair two, three. So anyway, I don't want to be greedy. Uh, let's keep searching now. Okay, seven is going here, three is not here. I'm just looking for clean steps, just like this six right here. Oh, five, five is not here, five is not here. Oh, five has three possibilities. Okay, that's too many, I would say. Ah, nice. One is not here. One is not in any of these three cells because one cannot be adjacent to a four. So we have locked a pair in box six, one six pair. Excellent. So hats off to Chalk Chip for creating this really wonderful Sudoku. I'm having tremendous fun already uh, solving this. So now one in row five has only one digit left. Uh, one cell left has to go here. Cannot be next to a four. One goes here. That's nice. So one drives the Sudoku forward. Nine cannot go here. So two, five, seven, eight. Ah, nice. This cell is restricted. One, three, four, six, and seven. So this can only be two, five, eight, and nine. But you'll see that nine is eliminated and two is also eliminated because three plus two is five. So it's five or eight. That is nice. Okay. Look at this cell. It cannot be one, four, six, seven or eight. So this can only be two, three and nine. Five is also ruled out. But nine cannot be here because then it would make uh, the nine adjacent to a one. So nine is eliminated. It's two or a three. Superb. Right, now the 5 in uh, box 6 has to be in these two cells, just by Sudoku. Okay, look at this cell. Cannot be 1, 4, 6. It cannot be 3 or 9 or a 5. So 1, 4, 6, 3, 5, 9. It's 2, 7, 8. The problem here is that uh, there is not much help with the two or the eights in this box, which would really drive the Sudoku forward, I think. Okay, I'm looking at row eight now, one, four, five, eight, two, three, six, seven, and nine, right? Six cannot be here. So six has three possibilities in row eight. 
which is not much. Wow, this indeed is hard. There's no doubt about it. Ah, two. Two in row one has to be in these two cells. Now, is that driving the Sudoku? Ah, it is. It is. Now, look where the three goes here. Because we got the two here, three cannot be here and three cannot be here. So, three is in these two cells. That's nice. Although, it's not much. That puts three in these three cells. Okay. I have pencil marked nine in these two cells, right? Oh, that's not much. That is not much. Okay, there's nothing in any of these areas, right? Am I sure about this? Eight cannot be in any of these cells. Oh, this is appearing restricted to me. One, three, two, four, five. So six, seven, eight, and nine. Seven and eight are both ruled out because that would put it next to a two and three and total would be 10. So this is six or a nine. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. So this can only be six or nine, right? Okay, this is also appearing restricted. 2, 4, 5, 7, and 3 and 8 cannot be next to a 2. 2, 4, 5, 3, 7, 8. So this is 1, 6, and 9. Okay, so we almost have something going on here. Wow, this is a beautiful exercise, guys. I'm really enjoying the challenge here. It's not so easy uh, to create Sudokus of this sort without a single X or a V. Really takes a lot of time. This cell here, is it restricted? One, four, six. Oh, it cannot be two, three because then two and three will add up to five. So this can only be five, eight or a nine. That's interesting. Five can't be eliminated. Eight can't be eliminated. Oh, not even a nine. This guy right here, one, four, five, six, two, one, seven. So this is three, eight, and nine. I hope you're going somewhere here. Okay, I'm looking at the ones in box seven. One cannot be here, one cannot be here, one cannot be here. Right, three, ah, nice. One cannot be in any of these two cells because that would put it adjacent to a four. So now in row seven, one has exactly two options. These two cells, very, very interesting. So what does that give me? Nine is eliminated from this area. 9 is not here, 9 could be here, 9 could be here, and 9 could be here, okay. It's not much, it's not much. Oh, 6 in column 3. It's either going here or it, it's going here, because this would put it next to a 4, so 6 has two options. Can we eliminate 1? Hmm doesn't appear so right so this cell here one three four five and eight so two six seven nine six can't be there two seven nine all right so i almost have a quadruple here two three seven nine so i need four and six now six can be in any of these three cells ah superb this is a hard nut to crack this is a very hard nut to crack. Let's look at this cell. 4, 5, 6, 7. And 1 cannot go here. 2, 3, 8 and 9. 2 cannot go here. So this is a 3, 8 and 9. Okay. It's 
So this cell right here cannot be 7, 8, cannot be 1, 2, 4. So 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 3, 6, and 9. So I'm just pencil marking all the areas where I think there may be something, but none of them is hitting me jackpot. None of them. So this right here, it's one five nine. Cannot be two three eight four six and seven. So one five nine because eight would put it next to a two, so it cannot be eight. Am I missing something very very uh, apparent? I hope not, because it's not that apparent to me. So two can't go next to. Uh, hmm. This guy right here can't take two or three because two, three is here. So one, two, three, five, seven, eight. It's four, six, and nine. Oh, come on. <laughs> Every cell is taking three possibilities now. This right here is two, three, seven, eight. Not one can get eliminated. Okay. Hmm. Okay, look at this cell. One, four, six, seven, two, and five. So this is one, two, four, uh, one, four, one, two, five, four, six, and seven, three, eight, and nine, right? Ah. Uh. I'm now really uh, searching in thin air. Uh, look at this cell. It cannot be 2, 3, 7, 8, 5, or 6. So it's 1, 4, and 9. Hmm. So do we... Uh, I was just seeing if there is some kind of, uh, you know, symmetricity in the Sudoku where the givens are placed symmetrically. It's not the case. Huh, I'm clueless here. So I need to blindly write some more digits. 15647. So these would be 289 and these would be 238. Just pencil marking even more extensively because I can't see a thing here. Mm. Come on. Okay, this one right here could be interesting. If this is a four, then one is forced here. And if this is a 1, 4 is forced here, 2 is forced here. Am I seeing something here? Not sure. Little bit deep. Hmm. Six is going in these three cells. It's not much to go on with. Look at this cell. Uh, it cannot be four, six. It cannot be one, two, or a three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay. This cannot be 1, 4, 6, 2, 3, 7. So 5, 8, 9. Because 7 would make it next to a 3. So this is 5, 8, and 9. Hmm. This 2, 3 here is tempting to say the least. Okay. 
okay seven in row five look at this has only two options row five column one or row five column nine Hmm. Oh. Ah. Wow. This is a cruel Sudoku, guys. One, four, six, two, and five. So this would be three, seven, eight, nine. It can be anything. Uh, I need a break here. Oh, one in this box has to be in these two cells. This cell right here, it cannot be one seven eight two one four. So three five six and nine. Six can't be next to a four, so three five nine. Ah. Is there some way I can force something here? Things don't appear that way. Or am I making a hash of this soul? Okay, this cell right here, it cannot be one, five, seven, eight, or a two, two is in one of these two cells. One, two, five, seven, eight. So three, four, six, and nine. And three cannot be between a two pencil mark because two plus three will add up to five. So it's four, six, nine. Okay, four, six, nine, four, six, nine. Am I getting somewhere here? is beautiful guys no matter what digit goes here this can never be a one wow this is very tough to see guys let's say you have a four or a nine here i'm going to highlight the cell suppose you have a four or a nine here right you cannot have one here because then one with the four or a nine will add up to a five or a ten so which means there is no way you can have four or one here suppose you have a six here now you can have a one next to a six but if you do then this cell right here is choked so no matter what one can never go here that is some sort of deduction that is some deduction really so that gives a one here ah, i hope for something after this hopefully looking at this column one four five eight nine two three six seven no six so this is two three seven right two three and seven okay ah, it wasn't much this uh, guy here is not giving much okay look at this cell it cannot be one seven four six eight or a nine so it's two three five Uh, 
Ah. Oh my. After finding this, I thought there must be some flow, but it's still stuck. 2, 3, 5, 4, 1, 4, 8. So this is 6, 7 or a 9. 1, 4, 5 and 8, 2 and 3. So 6, 7, 9. So I wonder if anyone would be able to solve without this, all these messy pencil marks. Uh, I don't think it's possible, right? It's so hard. How can someone solve this with without pencil marks? Um, give me a break. Three is in one of these three cells, which is not much. Six cannot go only with a four, but one cannot go with a four or a nine. So if this is a nine, then this is a one, this is a six. Not much, not much. What am I missing here? 2, 3 right here is not helping me. Two cannot go with the eight and the three, three cannot go with the two and the seven. Okay, there is some other narrow reduction, some other very, very narrow reduction. Hmm. Okay, 28 minutes into the solve and only a, f a very few digits, right? One, four, six, it's not much in the grid. Let's look at this cell. One, four, six, two and seven. So this is three, five, eight and nine. But three cannot go next to a seven. It's five, eight, nine. Eight cannot go next to a two. Nine cannot go next to one. Okay, not much. Is this doing something? Two, eight, and nine. Cannot be two, eight. Cannot be two, three. Can we say that nine must be in one of these two cells? No, three and eight can go here, right? Ah. Failure, failure, failure. Uh, these are all completely empty guys. I mean, I wonder how this solves without nothing here just based on the variant constraints. This is really amazing. Look at this cell, 
this cannot be two four five or one six seven so three eight and nine and nine cannot be between one so this is three or eight oh we almost had a digit there we almost almost had a digit it's a by value candidate three or eight and which means i can't have two here oh my goodness this is unbelievable guys if you have a two here no matter what this cell takes yellow then two plus three would be five and two plus eight would be ten so there can never be a two here because of this three eight guy two is forced here ah and that removes two from these cells and this would be three seven eight for the column hopefully now we should get a push here so two is in one of these two cells two can't be here two cannot be here two cannot be here so two has two options these two cells two cannot next to be uh, two cannot be next to a three or an eight okay again what a find this i mean too narrow too too narrow I have 8, 9 here. I have 3, 8 here. So 3 must be in one of these two cells. Mm -hmm. Okay. 8 is eliminated here. 8 has 3 options. Not much. just I think uh, I'm just squeezing water out of stone here nothing much here it's too hard finding digits in this maze is really hard So can I have a seven here? Yeah, I can. Uh, this is one five nine, right? I can't have two, four, six. 3, 7 and 8 cannot be next to a 2. 2, 4, 6, 3, 7, 8. So this is 1, 5, 9. 1, 5, 9, 1, 5, 9. Okay, 2 is in one of these two cells in column 6. Ah, 2 cannot be next to an 8 or a 3. I have to keep myself reminding that. If I somehow could eliminate 9 from here again I would have the same situation 3 8 here and 2 can be eliminated here can this be a 9 this is a 9 then this is a 6 because 1 cannot be next to a 9 so this would be a 1 1 cannot be next to a 4 or a 9 1 6 9 2 1 7 3 4 5 8 this would be 4 3 8 5 8 oh nothing here ah this sudoku is merciless mercilessly hitting So if this is 9, then this is forced as a 4. I don't think I'm able to use the vice versa much here, right?
this is 9 both of these would be 1 5 okay that's also possible Okay, six and nine. Nothing much I can do here. No kind of interactions or anything. This is a brutal, brutal Sudoku, I feel. Uh, can this be a uh, two? This would be three, seven. This would be 9. If this is 3, this would be 27279. Okay, 7 goes in one of these two cells in box 2. That means this cannot be 3, unfortunately. Let's say this is 7. Now, this is forced as a 7. This would be 2, 3. This would be 7, 9. 7 goes in one of these two cells and okay, things go on. Ha, ah, right. Hmm. 37 minutes into my solve. But this is truly a very hard Sudoku. But I'm determined to complete it. I'll just keep moving ahead. Okay, this right here cannot be one, four, six, two, and five. So it's three, seven, eight, nine. Can I eliminate anything here? Three, seven, eight, and nine. Three, eight, three, eight, nine, three. Okay, something's going on. All sorts of vice versa seem to have exhausted. I don't see anything uh, in the form of vice versa here. Oh. This cannot be a 9 guys. Very hard to see. Because it's forcing something. So, um, before that let me remove this red. This, If this is a 9. 1, 5 get forced here, which is easy to see. So this would be 8. Now look where the 2 goes here. 2 is going here. So 8 and 2 come together. So is this the kind of direction you need to find to continue here? That's the big question. Once more, if this is a 9, 1, 5 go here. So this is 8. And now look where the 2 goes. 2 is forced here. So 8 and 2 are together. This cannot be a 9. Wow. So this is a 9. Which means this is not 9. Oh my goodness. So this is 2, 8. So this is not 8. This is 3, 9. Let's remove the 9 from this cell. And that's not 9. 3, 8. 2 and 3 are in here. So 5, 8 go here. So there is no 8 here. Ah, nice. Again, if you have 3, 8, this cannot be 2. Vice versa again. So 2 has only one cell left in this box. This one. This is a 2. So this is not 3 anymore. 7 and 9. Sorry. The 7, 9. Because 2 cannot be next to a 3. And that's not 2. 3, 7. So this is a 2. Wow. Some form of progress at, uh, at last. 
one two six four seven nine this is three five eight so this will be seven or a nine and this two here removes the two seven nine wow this is just amazing amazing this would be five eight nine because three seven cannot go together so one two four six and three seven are eliminated uh, this is five eight and nine ah right what now this would be three six and nine right because three is in one of these cells which means seven cannot go here because that would put seven between threes so this is three six or nine and now seven is in one of these two cells both the cells look possible Hmm. After moving this hard, I'm able to reach here, but seems to be still progress to be done. Got a seven nine here, right? Seven cannot go next to a three, nine cannot go next to a one. Three, five, eight. Okay, one and six. Again, nothing there. Two here cannot be next to a three or an eight. Oof. Hmm. Ah, triplet two three eight. So this is not eight. That's five or a nine. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So this guy right here cannot be one four six seven nine. So two three five eight. Oof. This was uh. This was, I shouldn't say, this is an exercise in x -vis. This shows you how dangerous an x Sudoku can be. I mean, if you don't find the right step or the right area, you're uh, done, right? Somehow I'm finding the energy to continue here, uh, even after 45 minutes into the solve, but this Sudoku is thoroughly hard so i don't mind solving it so where do i move now <laughs> ah okay three nine three five nine where are we going one six one six nine four six nine so eight goes in these two cells and five goes in these two cells or oh, this these two it's not much but so five in here goes in these two cells in column three exactly two cells 8 cannot be next to a 2 nor a 3 can be next to a 2 this is 3 7 9 8 5 ah okay not much <sighs> ah oh my goodness this is really tiresome ah uh, What am I missing here? 
that's my biggest doubt so eight is not anywhere here so it goes in these three cells it's not much right is this harder than i imagined seems so One six nine. Unfortunately, I'm unable to make digits play with each other. Usually, if you let them interact, these kind of Sudokus really fall apart. But I'm unable to do that here. There's not much interaction between the digits. It's just really subtle, subtle deductions. What is this guy doing here? 2 and 3 not helping us at all. 2, 8. Okay, I eliminated the 2 here. Uh, 8 here. 8 has 2 cells. Ah, that's not much. Okay, this guy right here is 1, 6, 7, 9. Because 2, 4, 5. 3 and 8 are eliminated. So 1, 6, 7, 9. Okay. Almost a quadruple there. How do I make these interact? Somehow or the other I have to make them interact. They don't seem to. Absolutely nothing here guys, seems to be a dead Sudoku. So this right here, 2, 6, 7, 9, right? Because 2 is in these 3 cells, so which means 3 is eliminated here. So 1, 5, 8, 3 and 4, so it's 2, 6, 7 and 9. Most had something here, but mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, the last you would expect to see in a variant Sudoku. You have an XY wing here, 2, 3, 2, 8 and 3, 8. This is an XY wing guys, an XY wing in a variant Sudoku. Can you imagine that? How hard can it be? And I was looking at all sorts of vice versa here. So this is an XY wing or a Y wing, right? Three cells. And by value candidates of this form A, B, B, C and A, C out of which one cell is the hinge cell which sees the other two cells which are called the wing cells spread across two boxes. Now three cannot be here because that is the cell which, seeing, which is seeing the wing cells. If this is a three then this becomes two right and this becomes eight. Now two and eight are seeing this yellow cell and there is no possibility here. So the green guy cannot be a 3, that's a 7, 8, so which means in this column, 3 has only one option left. Wow, 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 that's a 3, that's a 7, that's a 9, that's a 7, that's not a 9, that's 3, 8, 3, 8, 3, 8, so that's a 1, 4, there is no more 9 here, 5, 8, 
let's try to fly through the sudoku now it's already 50 minutes close to that that's not a three let's remove the stay guys so two five eight one four six and seven that's a three or a nine that's excellent so somewhat he continued forward so two five six nine three eight so one four seven this is a one or a seven and that is a one four or seven any more sneaky little y wings this is seven eight seven eight seven seven okay that seems to be an skyscraper logic here but do we need to use that hmm what have you got in store next sudoku even now it's not flying it's just stuck again right seven in here it's not seven six and nine that's excellent three goes in these two cells mm. So can I, if I have a 1 here, 9 is post here, and if I have a 1 here, 9 is post here. So 1 and 9 are on opposite sides. Okay. 1 and 9 are on opposite sides. Let's remove this color here. This too. That was really brutal finding that, you know, why wing. Simply uh, impossible to find such steps logically in, in a variant Sudoku where you would least expect uh, things of this sort. So it seems that your mind has to be open all the time for any sort of logic. Now what? Okay, 2 in column 1 has to be in one of these two cells. It cannot be here because that would put it next to a 3 and 8 and in either case that would be a 5 or a 10 forming so 2 goes here all right so which means 3 in this box it cannot be here it cannot be here because that would put it close to a 2 so 3 is in this domino removing the 3 from here removing the 3 from here 2 5 8 that is nice Now the 3 in this box has to be in one of these two cells, right? In row 8, 3 can only be here. Uh, come on, 7 is not here by Sudoku, so 2, 6 and 9. Which means in this entire row, if you look at where the 7 goes, it must be in these two cells. And which means 3 cannot be here because that would force a 7 here. Right, so 3 goes here, forcing 8 here, forcing 7 here, forcing 8 here. This is 5 and 9, so 3 goes here. And 8 gives a 2 here, 8 here. That's 2, 5. It's 2, 7. 2, 5, 7, 9. 2 can't be here, so 5, 7, 9. Uh, okay, now I'm looking forward again. This brutal Sudoku, guys. Even with all these, ah, 2, 5 pair, so that's a 9. Which means this is 3 or 8 for the row. 1, 6, 7, 9, 2, 4, 5, so this is 3 or 8. 3 or 8. Uh, 9 here, so this is 257. Let's remove all these tray guys. 257. What is that doing to me? And that means this is a 9. That's 15. 
so one here possible one here is also possible okay nine here gives us six this is three nine three nine no six here one nine ah i told you that there must be a one or a nine here so you also have a one and nine here so one nine pair so removing the nine from this cells these cells four six three five hmm This is one seven nine for the row, three four eight and two five six. So one seven nine. So six is in these two cells. I'm sorry that this video is to uh, go this long, but truly this is a very hard Sudoku to solve. Uh, life uh, just definitely uh, difficult to see all these reductions so two here gives me a nine here because two and three would be together so nine three which means this is a six this is a one so that gives a one here six gives a four here six nine here this is not one seven nine six seven nine this would be three five eight no five so this is three or eight so four in this box has to be here and four now goes here so this is one seven let's look at row three one five and eight so this is a five eight and this is a five eight one cannot be next to a four so one goes here five goes here seven goes in one of these two cells in row one and one goes in one of these two cells in row one okay three five eight triplet so this is not seven six and nine six nine six nine so that's a seven that five gives eight here three here nine here this is three this is five eight five five gives two that gives five seven two right this would be a six and a nine two this is six and nine again so two is forced here that forces one in here forcing seven in here forcing one in here this is a eight to complete the row this is a five this is three or eight so that's a five and one cannot be next to a nine so six nine that is a seven and then seven cannot be next to a three so eight three oops eight three three eight and one cannot be next to a nine so nine six and six and nine oof 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 what a tough sudoku really a tough sudoku so what are your thoughts guys that was really taxing on me uh, especially doing late in the night i was feeling sleepy at some point but somehow i sustained and got through to this uh, to the end of this roku uh, but a wonderful wonderful construction really hard um, probably this would have been solved much faster with a guess but you wouldn't be sure if uh, there is some you know somewhere the sudoku is breaking because you have to check all possible places for you know the possibility of a 5 or a 10 so logically this was too hard i would say and especially finding all these wings that was you know really extremely hard but hope you enjoyed watching this video we'll see you soon please do leave your thoughts and your solve under the video we'll see you soon bye bye